first mod for my 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Check it out. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. And that's right, today I did, or had done, the first mod for my 2022 Santa Cruz. Something I always do, usually first off, with any vehicle I buy, particularly living here in sunny South Texas. Now that may have given it away, and I don't know if you can tell right now, probably hard to tell on a cloudy day, but it's window tent. I had both of the front uh, windows tinted, the rears and everything else, in case you didn't know, which you probably do, they come tinted from the factory. So what I always try to do is to match up the side windows with the fronts. Usually it's just a tad bit darker, um, but it's close enough, I think, that you really can't tell a difference. Now, the benefits of doing a tent, well, there's a few. One, it keeps the heat down a little bit when you're driving, particularly if the sun is beating in on the side windows, makes a huge difference. Second, protects the interior a little bit, keeps everything from fading, maybe it lengthens the life of those plastic bits a little bit. You know, with the sun constantly beating down on the plastic parts in your car, it kind of dries them out a little bit. You know, I had a Tundra, it was uh, maybe a year ago or so, and one of the things I noticed in that truck, the covers, it has covers over the tweeters in the front, in the dash, and one of them started to warp up right at the edge because the panels come off for access, started to warp up, kind of curl on the edge a little bit. Now, I was very disappointed that that was happening, but it was due to the sun beating in every day because that truck was parked outside, but beating in every day on those covers and they just didn't fare very well. So tent can definitely help you out. Of course, the biggest reason to do it is the glare. You know, when I used to drive, in my other lifetime to work every morning to a brick and mortar job. I'd be driving in the mornings when the sun was its most intense as far as beating in from the side and then driving at night on the freeway with the sun beating in on the side. And the direction I was going, it never seemed to fail. It would always be on the driver's side for most of the trip, beating in right across my eyes. Very annoying particularly when you're trying to get on the entrance ramp and you look to the left, you know, in your mirror or out of the window to see if there's anybody coming and you're blinded by the sun. It's amazing how much of a difference having a tent on the windows helps. Now let's talk about the percentage. And by the way, if you haven't yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Now, as far as percentage goes, depending on where you live, and I think most states have a maximum that you can tend to, um, or a minimum, however you wanna look at it, I go with 20%. 20%, as I mentioned earlier, is as close as you can get to what comes factory, in my opinion. I go with 20%, and I always go with a mid-grade tent. I don't go with the top of the line, very expensive ceramic tent, because frankly, I don't think there's really any need. Now, there is claim that it will cut down even more on the UV, UV rays and the heat that's coming into the vehicle. Eh, I don't know that it's that big a deal because really, especially if you own a darker colored vehicle, it's always beating down the sun that is on the truck all day anyway. So I don't know that it really makes that much of a difference. I think it's more of a, a marketing ploy to get you to spend just a little bit more money. So I go with 20%. 20% in my area is not legal. Legal where I am is either 34 or 36%, I can't remember. Um, but I have gone with an illegal tent on every vehicle that I've ever tented. Frankly, I don't really see a big reason other than UV uh, protection, I guess, or maybe heat reduction, to go with anything less. I don't think it looks right on the truck. I think that you're gonna see a big difference between the fronts and the backs, and I want it to be aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. So I always go with 20%, and I've never had any trouble. 
Now, where I think you might run into problems, if you're speeding and you're pulled over and the cop is having a bad day or maybe he wants to get you for a little more, he might stick that little meter over your window to find out what percentage you're running and then you're gonna have a problem, either a fine or a fix-it ticket. A fix-it ticket is where you have to prove that you took the tent off or at least went legal uh, to satisfy the ticket itself or you play, pay the fine uh, and then you're probably gonna pay a fine again down the road, especially if you live in an area where the same cops are always patrolling somewhere small and they're gonna see your vehicle all the time and know that you didn't do anything. Uh, other than that, you know, I don't really see it as a problem. It's not a primary offense, I don't believe. In other words, the police are not going to pull you over because they suspect your window tent is too dark. Now, one thing I do want to point out about it, um, a lot of people have told me that in their areas, you can be pulled over for the tent, and it's just a reason for the police to kind of look at other things on your vehicle. Like if you're I don't know, you've got something else illegal. Who knows? You name it, whatever that might be. I don't know, maybe your taillights, uh, your headlights, other lighting. Who knows? Whatever they might deem as being illegal in the vehicle. So just beware of that. If you do go with a tent that's uh, below the legal limit, uh, you could have a problem with the police. Now, at the end of the video, I will do a little bit of a walk around. We'll show you what it looks like right now. Again, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I love a tented vehicle. I think every vehicle should be tented. And it's too bad they don't come from the factory with the whole thing tented. Now, that's not to say there isn't a little bit of tent in the side windows, because there is. They're not perfectly clear. But it's too bad they don't match the rears. I just think it's the best look for the truck. But they do have the legal issues to watch out for as well. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, show you the first mod on my 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. It is, of course, the window tent. Don't forget, there'll be some pictures at the end. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you tent your windows? Do you go below the legal limit? I'd be curious to know. Again, if you didn't in the beginning, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay tinted out there. Bye. Thank you.